This is Up Close, SABC News weekday program that profiles men and women making waves in the industries, African icons, rising stars, idols and veterans. If they're in the news, then you can catch their story right here. I'm Tepa Mutagua coming to you from Durban for the very first time. Stay tuned for the next 30 minutes as we get up close with Inko Si Yesizwe Sagobutelezi, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. Born in 1928, son of a chief and a Zulu princess, Prince Butelezi is an alumni of the prestigious missionary school Adams College, where presidents of Botswana and Uganda, as well as leaders of the Ac African National Congress, were also educated. From there, he moved on to study a law degree at Forte Natal University before being called to take on his chieftaincy. We know him as the founder of the Inkata Freedom Party, former prime minister of KwaZulu, and former Minister of Home Affairs who acted as South Africa's president 22 times. But who does Umduana Wagapinda Ngene say he is? In my recollection is that I remember uh, when the, my first year to look after calves, yes. you know, and graduated looking after cattle when, when, we, when we grew up. And then we attended school. I remember my first upper row when I went to school was a long, sh a long shirt which my aunt okay. had sewn up for me, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, which almost reached my ankles, you see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't remember whether there was anything underneath. <laughs> <laughs> but you could walk around with it, so, even though it was that long. Quite so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, but you know, the perception uh, is uh, coming from uh, 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 a royal background, a chieftaincy, mm -hmm. that you may have had super privileged childhood. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? No, it isn't correct because yes. what happened is that when I was born at, as a hospital in Masawatini, yes. I was whisked straight to the palace of my uncle, King Solomon Gatini mm -hmm. Zulu, my mother's brother. Yes. And unfortunately, you, you already mentioned I was born in 1928, and in 1933 he passed away. Okay. And then his younger brother, Prince Mishieni, mm -hmm. after whom the hospital here in Durban is named, had to take over as a regent. Yes. So we grew up, the, the not, not really... Uh, uh, living any luxurious life, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, we, we just grew up like uh, all children, doing the chores that children did, like looking after cattle okay. and going to school and walking to school and dipping cattle on Fridays. <laughs> and, and when one of my cousins were older than me, <laughs> had a wet trim, then we, it was a big day. <laughs> <with ceremony. laughs> there was a ceremony There was a ceremony about that. We got up very early to look after cattle and so on. It was a big day and so on. That is so interesting that you should say that uh, because we don't celebrate such uh, occasions Puberty, in, in, yeah. in, in a young man or young woman's life anymore. Quite so. Um, yeah. What would you say? What, what have we lost by not doing that anymore? I think that we have lost something because one then you are initiated into a, a stage that you have now reached this stage and, and, and taught certain responsibilities mm. and taught, for instance, uh, what it means to have a wet dream and, mm. and the consequences if you abuse that, you know. <laughs> so, so, I mean, <laughs> we, we miss yeah. all that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. So you grew up in the, uh, the the palace, but just as one of the children. Yes, quite And so. you went to school. What were your school years like? Well, I, I remember my school years very well because at that time, you know, with mm -hmm. uh, teachers, but we also had supervisors, okay. and most of them, since there was no transport, they used to ride horses. They used, I remember that okay. they used to come, you know, on horseback uh -huh. and so on. And of course, teachers would be jittery <laughs> when, they, when, they, when they were, there was going to be a supervisor coming to see to how they... Oh, the inspectors coming to inspect they, the how, school. How they do their work. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, 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 there's a cousin of mine, you know, many of my cousins have died, yes. you know, the king's children. But one of my cousins is still alive, and I always tease her, because I remember a supervisor by the name of Edmund Mgoni mm -hmm. came and we did some, some English reading. We read a series of books called Windsor Readers. Okay. And my cousin said, when she came to visit her, she said, she said, visited. 
And the silver said, visited. <laughs> and he kept on, visited. <laughs> I still tease her about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your pronunciation, <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. What, what kind of a young man were you at school? Were you quiet? Were you shy? Were you excelling? No, I think I, I've always been shy, but liked, I like to joke and so on. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I think that my, my cousin, especially the one who became a king later, King Cyprian, used to like me and said that I was a mischievous young man because I always <laughs> said something that made them laugh. <laughs> like what? What were the, some of the things that you would say? Did you used to play jokes on them? Like what do you remember doing? Uh, quite, quite so. Yeah. Uh, for instance, we used to go to the river to, to, to fish. Okay. Yes. And of course, we, we fished, not, not, not proper fish and, and so on. And, and I remember how I used to laugh, for instance, one of my cousins, after we had fished and we brought one of these uh, eels, yes. you know, and of course they have a stinking smell. Okay. And then they prepared a massive for us. To, uh, and, and I think the smell haunted him. And when he ran out to, to vomit, I was very amused. <laughs> <laughs> because he couldn't eat a uh, Because of the smell <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the ill. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. <laughs> Did you used to get into trouble for being uh, a jokester, especially at school? Uh, but Did you used to get into trouble I, I, for, uh, for making jokes? Uh, quite so, yes. Yes, uh, at school. At the time, of course, the teacher, it was not like now where you can't spend children, where you can't, uh -huh. the teacher can't use a ruler, a ruler on your head. Like that, yes, <laughs> tap yes. you on your head yes. so, <laughs> if you were not. So you got a lot of those. I got quite a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you go through school, and what happens when you finish a metric? What did you decide that you well, wanted actually, to study? What was actually, going? let me say, mm. on this side of the Chugela, on the other side of the Chugela River, mm -hmm. there were no high schools. Okay. So my uncle had to drive us down here to Durban. Okay. Because we had to attend Standard 8 at Adams College, okay. which is one of the oldest you know, missionary colleges in this country. Mm -hmm. And before going there, I remember my uncle drove us to Othlange mm. uh, to, to post to Dr. John L. Dewey, the first president of the ANC, yes. and to, to say that in the royal, it was, it was myself and my two cousins, mm -hmm. Prince Tandaip and Prince Penwell, mm. and myself, to say that we're going to do standard. It was a big thing mm -hmm. at that time. Okay, from, for, from, for from you the, to from go the to royal, high school. From the royal family, yes, mm -hmm. quite so. So then I attended school, of course, uh, at Adams. And of course, there were, initi there were terrible initiation ceremonies there, you know. Okay. And I remember I was very overawed when in the evening, you know, the older students would line up the passage, <laughs> you know, Sani bo nani basha, Sani bo nani basha. <laughs> Did you guys have to respond I, to I, that? No, I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> that they're going to punish you. <laughs> yeah, no, initiation and boarding school, uh, those, those are, yeah, are special experiences, I think, that every young person, if they can, they should have. Right. Because they teach you a lot about discipline and also how to behave socially. Ab ab absolutely. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yes, mm. yes. But then, of course, uh, well, I did my junior uh, JC there, and I did my matric. Mm. And then I was, it was a very prestigious institution, mm. actually, mm -hmm. because the first headmaster was Professor Z.K. Matthews. Okay. You know, the first African to, you know, to graduate in the University of South Africa. Yeah, wow. And, and one of the first professors at mm -hmm. Fort Hare. Mm. So, so it was very prestigious. And the principal was a, a, ma a very well-known person, Senator Edgar Brooks. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, Africans, of course, were not represented in parliament, but were, they were allowed through a college system to elect what were called senators. Yes. And in this province, the senator was the principal of Adams College, Senator Edgar Brooks. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, so it was uh, quite a prestigious it school. It was really. quite a pre prestigious school. And in fact, it was very progressive because mm. I remember there's one of the well-known private uh, uh, institutions in this, in this province, mm -hmm. Sir Michael House. Yes. And by arrangement, some of our students used to go to Michael House for a week. Already back then? Uh, to stay there for a week and to attend classes there. And, mm. and white boys from Michael House used to come to, to Adams. Adams. Yes. 
to, you know, to stay with us for a week. And you know, the, the food we ate too, when I remember it. It was very different. Yeah, quite, quite so. Okay, let, let's hold it there, uh, Baba Shege. I just want to take a quick break and then we'll continue with our conversation. This is Up Close coming to you from Durban, Etigwini. Stay with us. Continue to have our discussion with uh, Prince Vitalisi Babashenge coming to you from Etiquini. Very interesting to know that uh, the school that you went to was that pro progressive and prestigious, that there were some schools who were already collaborating mm. um, to integrate yes, the children yeah. racially and uh, get uh, that cross culture it experience. Was in the it was in the 40s. Yes, yes. yes. A long time ago. In the very dark days, you know, of, yes. of racism in this country. You know. Did you ever, were you ever, get, did you ever get the opportunity to be one of those who no, no, went across no, to the no, other I school? Didn't. But I then, didn't. what was the experience of having um, the other children come to your school? What no, it you was remember? very interesting. Of course, we tried to interact with them, mm. talk mm. to them, and so on. And you know, races were so separated in this country mm. that it, we couldn't believe it, that. These were staying in our hostel and then same they, rooms, they, everything. They were eating the, wow. the, the not so exciting food that we ate, you know, mm -hmm. with us and so on. Mm. It was very interesting, mm. and of course we had also some very famous people who became very famous l uh, later. Mm -hmm. For instance, one of them was K Professor Kabim Gom. Mm -hmm. Professor mm -hmm. Kabim Gom was doing post matric okay. with this famous mathematician Wilkinson Kambole. Okay. They were doing mm -hmm. post matric course. Teacher's course. Okay, and, 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 and Professor Mgoma, Kabi Mgoma was then our, uh, he was the head of the of our SRC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, I sang in, in his choir too. Oh, wow. Yes, <laughs> in, in the male voice choir. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I still remember. Our grandfather's <laughs> class was too large for the show, for he stood 20 years on the floor. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Natal, yeah, Natal is, a, is, is an amazing province in terms of having always been progressive. Um, a lot of integration here had been happening, a lot of development in terms of um, a, a identity has, has, has always existed here. When you finished school, what did you want to do? I mean, here you are, you are from a royal household, mm -hmm. Uh, you've had this uh, privileged ed education. What did you want to do? Actually, I was very inspired by mm. the fact that Dr. Pixley, Kai mm -hmm. Sam, yes. the founder of the African Nation Congress, yes. was my uncle. Wow. He was married to King Tinizulu's eldest daughter, okay. Princess Piggy Seal. Okay. So at one time, they had a place in Mahashini, Nongoma, and when I was doing matric at Adams, I remember that he had an operation one eye and he called for me because I was the only child then doing matric in mm -hmm. the royal family. Hmm. And he would dictate letters and sign them and so on. Now, he was a lawyer. So I think then that actually inspired me to want to be a lawyer, mm -hmm. you know, okay. which actually I was frustrated because after, you know, when, I, when later I went, of course, to Fort Hare in 1948 mm -hmm. uh, to do my degree and... And of course, in September 1950, unfortunately, I was involved in some sh student demonstration and I was rushed, I was expelled fr uh, from the okay. university. Mm. In Fortier. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Seme actually tried to intervene. Mm. He wrote a letter to Dr. Professor Matthews trying to say, you know, who I was and so on. Mm. But, mm. you know, th I couldn't get back. But the most they would allow was that I attended the uni University of Natal yeah. here with. Uh, with the, uh, someone was very famous too, we're in the same class mm -hmm. with Fatima Mia, Professor Fatima Mia. Mm -hmm. They were students together and Professor Kekut mm -hmm. here at the University of Natal. And, um, and of course, uh, I passed. And mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. I remember students were so surprised because in 1951, when I went for graduation, yes. the king, king, King Cyprian, yes. my cousin, my first cousin, yes. he came there with a big entourage and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, now, I mean, some, some of them just knew me as Mamasud, which is just one of them. Yes. Now they were surprised to see the whole king of the Zulu people mm -hmm. coming down to see me graduate. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and also some of the prominent uh, leaders, like Mr. Champion, who was a very colorful 
politician here in, in, in Durban. Mm -hmm. he, he founded actually the ICU with, Prof with, with Ms. Kandali, Clemens Kandali, mm -hmm. the first mm -hmm. uh, African mm -hmm. trade union in, in Af South Africa. Mm -hmm. yes. So here you are, you've just uh, graduated uh, doing law. Um, then at that you, time, you, you, yes. th then you see, then uh, uh, Dr. Iceland, who was the Secretary for Native Affairs, yes. since I was uh, supposed to be hereditary leader, I was to take over as in Kosi. Okay. He came here to Durban, mm -hmm. you know, and quizzed me about my involvement because we were demonstrating. Yeah, yeah. Because we demonstrated against the, what was then called the Governor General. Mm -hmm. This was the head of state at that time. Mm. He, although he was a titular head of the country, but we as students said he was a rubber stamp of our oppression. Yes. And therefore we boycotted and, and we started uh, punishing those who went. Mm -hmm. yeah, but Baba uh, I want I want to know, let's let's just stay there. How were how was the family responding to your um, youth activism, if I may call it that? Because um, you came from a household where you, you know, it, it, there was a future already, you know, set up that you're going to progress in such a way. You get to Forte, you get radicalized, mm -hmm. you get involved in uprisings. Mm -hmm. How were they responding at home? Of course, they were very disappointed. Yes. They were very disappointed. And in fact, I stayed here in Devon. I, I didn't proceed to my home. <laughs> my mother in trouble. had done so much, yes. you know. And of course, my uncle uh, at, at that time, uh, Prince Mshieni, was very disappointed. There were many people here were very dis disappointed. Mm. I remember Kanye's grandfather, Kanye Domo's Dom, grandfather, yes. Isaac Domo, yes. was one of our prominent businessmen here. And I remember him chiding me here at one restaurant, how could I do this, you know, to be given the opportunity and yeah. then mess it up like yeah, that. Yeah. I, I felt very ashamed. Mm, you know. mm. But then I pa when I passed, then of course, uh, all my sins were washed away. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the pride was back, Quite and there were. So, what was then the next phase? Now, then, I, then I wanted. There was a, a lawyer here who mm -hmm. was an ANC lawyer, mm. Rowley Arenstein. He was a member of the South African Communist Party. Mm -hmm. He was the longest banned person mm -hmm. in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Now, he had articles, Regine Ong, who had worked with me, because I've, I've jumped the fact that I worked for a year in the Native Commissioner's Office here okay. in, in Durban. Before you completed uh, yes. your studies. But I, but I then managed to do articles to, to qualify as a lawyer. Yes. And my mother, you know what my mother did? No. She sold a cow in, uh, oh, uh, and okay. sent someone to, to actually pick me up. <laughs> she sold the cow because she didn't want you to do your articles. No, he wanted me to get to get bus bus fare to go home and so to, to say I must return because he thought I was abandoning my role yes. as in Kosi. Yes. You know. Yes. Now he, she she could not tolerate that because her marriage yes. was arranged by her brother so yes. that I, I could do that. Yeah. So well, then, were you, were you, but, were you but then comfortable though, with the role time, that had already been planned for that, you? At that time, I, I was fortunate. I had mentors like Nkosil Tuli, like, mm -hmm. like Walter Sisulu. Mm -hmm. And in fact, all, all of them, I thought they, would, they were going to say I must do my law. They said I must go back. Oh, because really? they said my role as Nkos would be important mm -hmm. for the struggle. I must go back. I must, I must go home. So you were conflicted by the two roles. You, yeah. you, you wanted to get involved in yes. the struggle. You wanted to be the lawyer. Yes. And then you had your mentor saying, no, you, you have a very special position. Quite true. Go back and be in course. Quite true. Quite true. Yeah. Let's take a quick break, and then we're going to wrap it up looking at the different years that Babu Shenge, or Prince Butelezi, has been in leadership in the province as well as nationally in South Africa. You're watching Up Close, coming to you from Durban. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with Up Close as we wrap up our conversation with Prince Butelezi, coming to you from Aid Tequini. Um, so you finally accept that there is this calling on your life there's a role that you have been prepared quite, for, quite. and that is that of being in course and your mentors. They say this will be an advantage for the struggle. Quite so. Um, what do you think is most misunderstood about the role that you played as in course then, then moving towards uh, a democratic South Africa, and then your next role, which was in leadership nationally. What do you think is most misunderstood 
about your role and, and, and you? Mm. Mm. The tragedy about that question is that, in fact, um, that is that lies and propaganda have been used to distort history. Mm. Because what happened then, the government imposed the homeland policy yes. on, on, on African people. And they had propaganda where they said that people must accept it. And I think here, we, we stood against it for longer than anyone else until they said we had no option. Mm -hmm. But then, my sister was married to a medical doctor mm -hmm. in, in Benoni mm. by Dr. Mafu Dutrana. He came from the Eastern Cape. Yes. And Mr. Tambo in Inkosil Tuli actually sent Mr. Klopas Tsibande mm -hmm. to my sister and said, we called her, and said she must send a message to me that since it's obvious that they are imposing this thing, mm -hmm. uh, because we in the ANC are against it, mm -hmm. they say that nevertheless I must, not, I must not refuse to take the position. Mm -hmm. So they actually ordered me to, to, to that if Amakosi or, uh, decide to elect me, I must go. So mm -hmm. I, I go, went into that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I was you inspired. Used that. I was inspired, of course, by mm -hmm. Tulu, one of my mentors, because he. Mm -hmm. was in fact not originally hereditary in course like me. Mm -hmm. He was elected by the Amakola uh, clan of mm -hmm. Groudville. And he had left a, a well-paying post as a teacher at Adams College mm -hmm. to take it up to serve people. Mm -hmm. So I like this servant leadership. Mm -hmm. of his. And that is and the misunderstanding I, 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 about it, how you use that period. Mm, I mean, it's, mm. it's, it's documented, but I think not enough. I, I think that, bec that background is important because, in mm. fact, mm. as a result of that, when Inkos Albert Lutuli, you know, the last elected mm. leader of the ANC in this, in this cu country, mm -hmm. when he died, our leaders were in jail. Mandela was mm. in jail. Uh, uh, Tambo was uh, abroad. Mm -hmm. There was nobody. Mm -hmm. So I was asked by the family and the ANC to, to deliver the oration at his, at his funeral. Mm, wow. which, were, which are some people were trying to warn me not to do it because mm. they said the government would act against me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it nevertheless, uh, which I did. Mm. But you, you had a, a, an amazing and ability during that time. We don't have much time left. But to be able to keep um, a positive uh, relationship with the uh, government at the time while you were actually doing very rebellious thing, as mm. in Inkosi, Quite. being, uh, you know, uh, having a close relationship with the ANC. Quite. How were you able to, to do that? Well, in, in fact, I was shadowed by the security police. And yes. in fact, for five years as Inkosi, they would not confirm my appointment. They said that I was mm. acting, you know. Mm. It was very difficult for, for mm. me. But then when Mr. Tambo was sent abroad by Inkosi Lituli, in fact, we worked with Mr. Tambo, I sent emissaries to him. Mm. We met with Mr. Tambo in London, we met in Malawi at Mangoche, we met in Nairobi mm -hmm. at the Hilton, we met in, in, in Stockholm mm -hmm. in Sweden, mm -hmm. we met in, in, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But then in 1979, Mr. Tambo asked me to go abroad with a delegation mm -hmm. because there was a big debate on sanctions, economic sanctions on South Africa and the arms struggle. And he wanted us to embrace those Mm. And of course, we differed on that. Yes, then yes. after that, I was then vilified as a sellout mm. and called mm. all kinds of names. Mm. Mm. But in fact, you had a, you enjoyed a close but, but relationship but fact, for a very long time. At yes. the TRC, Mr. Mr. De Klerk actually admitted that they abandoned their grandiose apartheid because of my stand, mm. refusing to accept independence of the so-called, you know, mm. independent homelands. Mm. And he actually said so at the TRC, mm. that it was my stand against, you know, independence, against mm. fragmenting the country. What, what, what uh, we've got like uh, 30 seconds left, but um, what would you like the, the, to be your legacy? You know, that people, this is what they must remember about you. Because you, you, you have been in leadership for a long time, as, as mm. we keep mentioning, through very significant times in our transformation. Well, I think that um, during that big debate when the Bantu education was imposed on our people, mm -hmm. there was also a big decision I took. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't take the decision with the liberation movements, wanted not to go to school. Mm -hmm. I, I actually erected many schools here. And mm. the crown and glory was the university, Mangosut University, mm -hmm. here in Durban, yes. which, which I erected with Mr. Oppenheimer. Yes, so, so I, I really hope 
that, that is the most important part. When I, I serve the people of South Africa, to the extent that even Dr. Ntato Matana's children were brought to me from Soweto because there was, there was no learning in Gauteng. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And also Pesik Kawaza sent his children to me, mm. which, are, which are arranged at Langhezo to, 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 you know, to do their education when mm. there was no education in Gauteng. Mm. Dr. Mangosuchi uh, Butelezi, Prince Butelezi Baba Shege, thank you so much for making the time to chat to us at, at Chloris. We feel so welcomed at, at Tequini, and uh, we hope we're going to have more conversations with uh, wonderful contributors to our country like yourself. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of Up Close. Catch us same time. Uh, weekdays, that's DSTV channel 404 SABC News. Our email address is upclose at sabc.co.za. My Twitter handle, Tsepi Uh We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.